one of the most historic areas in Eretz Yisrael is the beautiful northern port city of Haifa. Haifa is up on a mountain, it looks over the ocean, and it's full of so many interesting and beautiful. The scenery is beautiful, and the history here is very rich. This is my home. This is my motherland. This is the place where I want to be. A home no one can take away from me. This is my home. This is my chosen land. This is the place I live to defend. Hoping to find some day capture with them. This is my home. This is my promised land. This is the place where I want to be. A home no one can. for a new exploration back into history of our people. Let's see where we can go today. I'm here in the ports of Haifa at the shipping yard where this very, very special and historic boat rests. This ship is called Af Al Pichen, which means even though. In 1946, this ship left Europe full of Jewish people looking to come to the homeland of Eretz Yisrael, which was not yet a country of its own. It was under British mandate. And many, many ships had left Europe and were stopped at the British blockades Britain controlled this land, and the ships were either turned around and sent back to Europe or brought into Cyprus where they were held. This ship, even though all the rest of the ships were stopped, this ship decided it was going to run the blockade and come here and deliver people to our homeland, Eretz Yisrael. And it has been here for many, many years as a symbol of hope and faith. international seaports, you know? The animal Achi Gadol be Israel. Can which include the port of Ashdod and the port of Elat. Yeah, you know how many ships come here a day? We get all our stuff, like most of our stuff from here, from the Mal Khaifa. Wow. Wow, it's beautiful, you see it? Wow. 
וואו, איזה יופי! וואי, שני! מה זה? וואו, את רואה את היער הזה? The forest! וואו! It's the Carmel forest! מה, יער הכרמל? כן! וואו! איזה כיף! It's large, large forest! וואו! And it's beautiful! There are a lot of animals there! Oh, they just got a birthday! A two bishvat! אה, נכון! את רואה את זה? פה ממש? מה זה? זה החייבר. החייבר! חייבר כרמל. וואו! חייבר כרמל. חייבר כרמל is dedicated to be a house for animals injured or extinct from their region and return to nature. In this place they keep deer and eagles and vultures. Wow. which are part of reintroduction to the nature. Oh, it's very What important. What an amazing project. It's Mamash important. Madim. Wow. Wow. Have you wow. been there? Yes. Like, there? Yes. It's an wow. amazing place. And the very beautiful animals. See, I'm standing here on the top of Har Carmel, looking down behind me, back in the city of Haifa. It is beautiful up here. And, you know, of course, I walked. I didn't take the cable car to the top. And I'm really tired, but I want to share with you a wonderful story that happened here many, many, many years ago. This story takes place in Malachim Bet. It is a story about the king Ahav and his wife Izevel, who were not really good kings. They were the kings of the Shavatim. They lived in the north, the ten tribes, and they didn't want people to go to Yerushalayim anymore to, to, to serve Hashem correctly, and they decided to hire their own kohanim, their own priests, who would bring their own karbanot to their own baal. They killed all of the neviim, except two, uh, two sets of 50 neviim that were hidden away, and Eliyahu Hanavi. And at one point, Eliyahu, finally able to get the attention of Bnei Yisrael by bringing a drought to all the land, met with Ahav and said, Ahav, it's enough. It's not fair to the Jewish people. All the people need to be able to serve Hashem appropriately. And Ahab said, no, I don't want them to. I want them to be loyal to me. And Eliyahu said, you know what? Let's let the people choose by themselves. Do they want to follow the way of Hashem? Or do they want to follow the way of your Baal, your God, your idol? Let's make a contest. We'll go to the top of Har Carmel, which is where I am. And everybody can join us. And your people will have first choice. And they'll try to bring a carbon without fire. And if your Baal, your idol, is really the God, then all the people will see that your Kohanim, can bring fire down to the Mizbech. And if my Hashem is the Hashem, then all the people will see that I can bring fire down on the Mizbech. Well, the Baal, the Kohane HaBaal, thought this was a great idea. And they began, everyone came together. They sent somebody underneath the Mizbech to light a fire, shh, don't tell. And that person didn't end up being able to light a fire. It was finally Eliyahu's turn. Eliyahu told him, try harder, scream louder, maybe. Maybe your God can't hear, maybe he's sleeping. And the Kohane HaBaal continued trying and trying all day. Finally, just before the day was over, Eliyahu Hanavi came up in front of the people and said, I will show you that Hashem is the real Hashem of the entire world. He created heavens and earth, and he had his mizbah soaked in water, co covered completely by water, and he brought a carbon and he said to Hashem, please Hashem, bring down a fire and show the people that you are really Hashem. And instantly a fire came down and it burned all the wool and it took the whole carbon, and the people said, wow, that's amazing, Hashem, hu elokem, Hashem is our God. Right here on this Mount Carmel is where the people chose once again to follow the way of Hashem. I really, wow. you know what? I really enjoyed this trip in, in Haifa. Me too. So come, come to Haifa. <laughs>